Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Daniel Kitchen, home to delicious food made simple. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this delicious burshub shub, also known as sweet dumplings. In other versions in Somali, we call it bursalid, which technically just means a dough that's fried in oil. They are fried, they are little balls which taste amazing and they're very simple to make. You can serve with a sugar syrup, condensed milk, you can scatter some cocoa there's so many things that you can do with them and i'd like to show that with you before the ramadan ends so you can make these at home for your family and friends to make this bowl shop shop all you need to do is add flour in a large bowl and i'm uh, using just self-raising flour you will get the list of the ingredients in the description box below next we will add some cornstarch this is just normal regular cornstarch and then we will add some yeast. I'm using instant dry yeast. And then we're going to add some salt, pinch of salt, just to balance everything. Little bit of sugar, again, just to give slight sweetness. And then I like to add tea spice, which consists of cardamom and some um, cinnamon stick that I've grounded. And then lastly, we're going to add some yogurt. And this is just plain old yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt if you have to hand as well. And then all we need to do next is using warm water. You just want to mix everything well together. And this is an important stage. I like to use a spoon just to mix everything. And then as soon as it comes together, make sure your hands are nicely washed. And then you just want to uh, mix using your hands. And I like to beat the mixture for at least a few times just to get a nice, uh, you know, a mixture that is uh, nice and soft and there's no lumps in it. If you have watched my anjero or lahoh recipe, you definitely know that we like to beat our mixture. And uh, this is, you know, there's no better way than using your hand. And then all you want to do is beat the butter for a couple of times. And you can see as soon as you do that, the mixture will change into a nice and soft as well as, you know, it comes all together. And this is the secret to a soft lahoh as well as a nice, delicious uh, Somali burshub shub we've done the mixing i just wanted to show you how it looks in terms of consistency and you can see it's a nice dropping consistency but and it's not like too thin or uh, too thick it needs to be slightly um uh, you should be able to lift it up with your hand and drop it into the oil so it's really important about the consistency after this all we need to do is cover the uh, mixture using either cling film or a damp tea towel and then we're going to let this sit aside for at least 45 minutes to an hour and then i'll show you how it becomes after that now that the mixture is ready all we need to do is to remove the cling film and i'd like to show you how it's turned after about 45 minutes it's got these beautiful bubbles it's doubled in size and that shows that the burshushub is almost ready to be fried so all you need to do is get some oil ready I'm using sunflower oil, you can use vegetable oil as well. Get a little bit of the mixture and then you just want to make into your hand into a nice fist and then kind of squeeze out. So your hand has turned into a piping bag. I prefer using my hand. However, if you're scared of the oil or slightly um, you know, worried, you can just get a spoon, get a little bit of the mixture and then uh, use another spoon to help you drop into the oil. So you can do that as well. But have a practice at this. Definitely does not look, um, it's not hard to do at all. And I like doing this because you get that perfect round shape every single time. And then once we uh, do this, all we need to do is uh, let the burshushub fry for at least a few minutes until nice and golden color. It's very important whenever you're frying burshushub that you have a nice temperature of medium uh, to high. Never fry burshushub on a high heat as otherwise it will quickly brown and then the inside will be raw. So and you can also see they're slowly getting the color. If they turn quickly into a golden color, that means my heat is too high. So you want to have like a nice steady temperature. All we need to do now is fry these for a few minutes until they all get nice nice golden color and you will notice some of them will get a uh, golden color quickly and then some will take time as you know the ones you drop uh, last will always 
always be the last ones to be taken out so uh, take them out always in a stages so take the first ones out that have turned like now you can see there's few that are nice golden uh, color and there's few that still need to get that half of them are gold and then the other half is still white so just allow them all to get that nice color and then all we need to do is now uh, take them out i like to use either a um, you can use paper tray or just anywhere that you can drain the excess oil Our brochure shop is now ready and you can see it's got nice golden color and some crispy on the outside. I'm going to carry on frying the rest of the uh, brochure shop mixture and then I'm going to show you a simple sugar syrup. Now that the brochure shop is all ready, all we need to do is a sugar syrup, which is a very easy step. And all you need to do is simmer water and sugar together. We like to add uh, just a slice of lemon, and which kind of cuts through the sweetness of the sugar and gives a nice uh, balance. And then once you simmer this for 10 minutes, the sugar syrup will turn into a nice syrupy consistency and then it's ready. And then I'm going to show you how the brochure has turned. And finally, our brochure shop is ready. I'm serving some with condensed milk, and this is just normal canned condensed milk. And then I've scattered with some coconut flakes, and then I've also put some of the sugar syrup on top. And I like to always serve the sugar syrup on the side, so if somebody needs to dip the uh, brochure shop into the sugar syrup, they can. And then you've got the coconut, and this is our brochure shop already. If you guys have enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to press that like button and also if you're not subscribed please do subscribe we post regular videos every single week and if you're going to be making this uh shop, just let me know in the comments and also if you make these in your country and you call them different name just let me know in the comments thank you so much again and until we meet next time assalamu alaikum